Bad Batch, Season 3, Episode 11, Point of No Return. So it starts on a planet. It almost looks like it's Polis, Polis Massa, right? The one in uh, Revenge of the Sith where they have the kids. It literally looks like that. On a moon-looking planet. And it has, like, hexagonal shapes and all that. I'm going to have to go back. I didn't have time. I wanted to look at Revenge of the Sith and see if this is, like, a callback. And if it is, because it doesn't tell you where it is. And even the subtitles, it doesn't say. But I was wondering, is this, like, Pol- Polis Mossa or whatever? But then they, when they land, it looks like they're landing on Tatooine. Because they make the hangar bay look totally like fucking Tatooine looked. Even in, like, Mandalorian. Like, it almost looks like it's ripped out of the Mandalorian. But it's, like, on a whole fucking different planet. It was pretty weird dude because at first i was like oh wow they actually have something that kind of looks like it's a star wars fucking thing it's kind of original and this is where this uh pirate it's like a black female human pirate with freaking like dreadlocks and shit. I, I don't know who she is she's a pirate she's i'm assuming she's like in season two or something like that i gotta be honest dude before i started the channel i gave season one of sad batch a try and i did not like it dude it was filled with filler that i just gave gave up on the show i didn't watch season two at all so i'm kind of like behind on who some of the characters and all that shit are uh but yeah anyway so she's a space pirate or whatever she's probably the best one in the galaxy i'm assuming she checks out multiple boxes um and meanwhile so she goes in she tells the droid it's almost just like a scene from mandalorian like i said when when you got curly q the jawa fucker i think that's what uh, uh that's what rhino calls her the jawa fucker the curly headed chick um she, um it's she like tells the droids oh here do handle this and then meanwhile while the droids are like you know fueling up the ship and checking it out and all that fucking a special a clone assassin rolls in dude and he grabs a bunch of data and snakes it off of the ship and then he's about to get caught by this badass pirate and then the droids like that'll be so and so credits so she goes back over towards the freaking um the cargo entrance and then boom obviously special assassin clone is gone and then you see him hiding out she goes back on her ship boom he fucking goes to his ship oh her name's fee fee strong strong whammon fee that's her name i didn't catch her name on a on a subtitle assassin clone uh yeah breaks in gets the info and then he um yeah he breaks down the encrypted info says uh he calls into scorch says i'm gonna go do recon on a planet on the outer rim um, that was wiped and visited frequently. So she tried to, you know, change her data and shit, showing that she never showed up on this planet. It's on the outer rim, and he's gonna go look into it. So then all of a sudden, uh, warning on the ship system, and Rekka's busy. He's like fucking around with like an animal or some shit on the ship. And this is when special clone assassins like flying in. So if Rekka hadn't been a fucking dumbass like he always is in the show, he's like the biggest fucking retard of the whole Bad Batch group. But he's like busy playing around with some like alien or some shit. At first, I thought it was Batcha, and then I went back and I looked, and it wasn't Batcha, because Batcha was somewhere else. Uh, but yeah, if Wrecker wasn't screwing around, then he would have probably fucking been able to notice, hey, special assassin clone just showed up. We better get the fuck out of here. But because he didn't, we'll see what happens later on. Plot convenience, obviously. And then assassin clone lands in a cave, just like the cave that Assange was in. I wonder if they fucking picked the same location. And then Hunter gets a bad feeling about this they didn't say that i'm just saying that's what i've been getting and then assassin clone gets some intel radios into scorch he's he's got a sniper rifle he's like looking around he's located all the bad batches and then he locates uh he locates omega and then he radios into uh to uh scorch and says i've got the target in sight and then scorch makes sure to tell him just remember the, the target's not to be harmed. She's so special. She's the most important piece of the galaxy. He doesn't say that, but obviously he says, leave the target unharmed is basically what he says. And what does Assassin clone do? He shoots. At first, I thought he was shooting tracking device. I'm like, oh, he put a tracking device on the ship, but he's like shooting multiple times onto the ship. So they're like thermal detonators. And then Rekka is still playing around and boom, the fucking ship blows up. This is, a, um, this is like the cargo, sh- I think it's like the, it's not the Bad Batch's main ship because the main ship, I think, right, Echo flies or whatever and then they usually radio into Echo or whatever. Um, but um, anyways, so blows the fucking ship up, dude. And Rekka gets severely injured. I'm sure he'll survive. I mean, there's not much stakes in this fucking show and then all of a sudden boom a fucking star destroyer shows up 
and it deploys drop ships and it's the drops it's the arc ships if i i'm not good with that's one thing i really am not good at is like all the different ship classes and, but it's basically like the arc ships that they that they roll in on on the battle of geonosis those all get deployed down to the planet this planet they're on i think it's called pabu yeah i guess that's the name of it pabu i don't know it's just, i think it's the same planet as last episode obviously they got the same cave they got all this shit going on anyways Star Destroyer shows up, arc ships from the Battle of Geonosis infiltrate the planet, and then their comms are blocked. So the Batches can't contact Echo for extraction. Well, if Rekka wasn't fucking around with animals on the planet, his dumbass would have noticed, and they probably could have got word out to Echo before that. So anyway, so then you got, uh, they devise a plan, and Hunter puts on his fucking actual clone helmet, so you don't actually just see him looking like Rambo. They're going around house to house trying to find Omega. Uh, the mayor, uh, which whose daughter, like, Omega is friends with, the mayor confronts the assassin clone, and he said, uh, tell me where she's at. I know she's here. If you don't give her up, I'm going to burn your island down. Um, and then um, and then Batcha all of a sudden just randomly, like, attacks stormtroopers <laughs> when they're, like, hiding out, like, around a building. Uh, kind of gave him the same vibes that I got from... Um, the one episode where him and Omega are supposed to be under, like, they're not supposed to get noticed, but they're walking around with Batcha the whole time. But anyways, and then uh, Rekka's still out cold. He's with the mayor's daughter, and they're, like, in some hut. And then frickin' Omega and Crosshair end up hiding out with them for a minute. And then after that, Hunter goes full Rambo, right? He takes out some stormtroopers, and then he bo he boards one of the ships, and they radio into him, special assassin clone. And then he's like, my vehicle's compromised. So what does a uh, special assassin clone do? He fucking looks, scopes out the pilot of the um, dropship, and he f shoots his ass and kills him. Fortunately for Hunter, they're right over the f ocean, because this is an island planet, obviously, right? Maybe that's why it was written that way. I don't know. So the ship goes down. Hunter jumps out into the fucking water. Uh, Omega's like, oh, Hunter. I was thinking, hey, they could at least make it dramatic, right? Like, they don't know if Hunter's alive, or maybe we don't as the viewer. Nah, they don't. They have fucking crosshair. He scopes it out with some binoculars. He goes, oh, he's he's fine, Omega. He's fine. Uh, Hunter would want us to stick with the plan. And then that's that. So it's like, fuck, dude. I mean, you could have added some kind of intrigue, but, you know, we're dealing with Dave Filoni writing here. At this point, he's like, well, Hunter would want us to stick with the plan. And Omega's like, you know, she's very self-righteous. She's uh, proven it all throughout this show, right? She wants to turn herself in so the Empire won't terrorize the island. She basically woman-splains Crosshair, tells him to focus on the bigger mission. Come on, Crosshair, you dummy. If you could be like me, the key to everything, you'd know how to handle this kind of shit. She says she's just a small part of it. Focus on the, the bigger mission, Crosshair. And then Omega turns herself in. Uh, assassin knows that crosshair isn't immobilized he's like i've t i've neutralized two of them he says uh scan her for tracking device and then they find it conveniently so i'm thinking oh, all right dude because then they don't rescan her and they just let her go so i'm thinking oh, okay they probably put two tracking devices on her to outsmart these idiots and um and, and you know and that's that but nope that's not it you'll find that out here in a minute so hunter swims to shore from the down ship and then Batcha finds him. So I guess that's where Batcha ran off. He just had a feeling he knew where fucking Hunter was going to land. Um, and then at that point, um, Omega, you see Omega getting loaded onto the ship. And then you see Crosshair is running up onto the, some stairs, kind of like where Special Clone Assassin went to uh, blow up the Bad Batch's ship. And, um, and then you see Crosshair getting ready to uh, shoot a tracking device onto the fucking ship. So that was their fucking great plan. Instead of, like, putting multiple tracking devices and hoping these idiots didn't scan them twice, you know, whatever it may be. Instead, the plan was, I'm going to shoot it from long range, you know, and, and hit the fucking um, the ship and be able to track you to Mount Tantus. Because they know they're obviously bringing her back to Mount Tantus. Well, what happens? Three stormtroopers come after Crosshair. So, first, I guess this is, Crosshair's usually not the fucking idiot, but, you know, he obviously is uh, trying to catch up here. Um, so he's got to fight some stormtroopers. There's only like three of them. He takes them out. Then he's ready to focus and shoot the ship. But the ship fucking takes off. He fires his shot to hit the tracking device on it. And he fucking misses. Ship goes into orbit. Boom. They're gone, dude. So now they got no way to track Omega. Omega's turned herself in for, for nothing. I mean, I guess it's save the city. How nice of her. And then Omega starts meditating. Here it comes. The Force is female. And the Force 
is a fake clone named Omega. And that's the episode. And then another dark ending. And again, like, they try to make it like this dark, ominous. That was episode 11. Pretty good amount of action. You know, they go house to house. They're looking for Omega. And a lot of it's repetitive shit, you know? So she's headed to Mount Tantus. They got no fucking way to track her. Uh, special clone assassin that, you know, fell off two waterfalls. He's still alive. He's earned his uh, rep back. And then we have a fake ESG clone that's going to obviously, she's going to probably have even more midichlorians than Omega. They're going to be the two now that save the day. Maybe the Bad Batch will learn something.